So we're in the Everglades now, and I just finished ramping off my boat. Uh, two days ago, we were out trying to fish some kings, and um, we only, we jumped two, but we weren't able to do anything with that. So now I've got Michael here, my son. We're gonna try here the Everglades, and see how we do here. Hopefully we will do okay. Um, my first time ramping here off of 75. Uh, I fished over at the Everglades uh, Holiday Park. This is all connection to that. So, you know, we'll see how we do. Stay tuned. So we're fishing along the edges here with worms. There's a lot of small stuff. Uh, I've lost a couple of good hits, but nothing really to uh, write home about. Michael's going to try to catch something small that we can drag in the back of the boat and hopefully land something nice. Yeah, this is all new grounds for me. At this part, we're not really at Holiday Park. I would have known the area that I will fish. Hey, trial and error, we'll figure it out. Well, we're progressively getting on the bigger end of the this weird looking fish. I remember it's a South American fish. Is it? I forgot the name of it. I have it on my phone. I've caught them here before. Look at that. All right, so this is a my encyclic. This one I recognized. Here's Michael. He caught a bass, finally, on the worm. Nice. That's something I haven't caught. Oh, you all lost your worm there, buddy. Let's do it, let's click it. We are on fish five. Oh, you lost your worm. This rod doesn't tell you anything. <laughs> bass on board. It's two bass for you. I haven't caught any bass. All right, got my first bass. Oh, and I lost my worm. Looks like Michael found his knack. I'm not, I'm not really targeting this. He's trying to get a little bait fish. He's catching everything except bait fish. Let me get your pliers. Yeah, Four you, you should have. I have mine, I didn't take uh, it out. Your pliers out, buddy. But that's okay, we got one out. I was aiming for a different fish. Fish on. Peacock, got a peacock. There we go, first peacock on the boat. Beautiful. Look at that, Michael. You got my positioning off. Can't target anything. I got pulled. <laughs> Come on this side. <laughs> Catch some peacocks. Do you have my pliers over there? No, I have mine. Where my pliers go? Oh, here we go. So my treble hook works. Ooh, let me get this boat out of here. Ooh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> that makes. I got it. This is the. Uh... You oh, had it. I had it. I'll try this side here and see how this works. There we go. Yeah, we got an ugly guard. There you go. That makes 18. So we got that, this puppy now online. And we're up to now 24. I got me a nice peacock here, guys. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. That's that's pretty. That's real pretty. Come to Dada. It's not even mouthed. And that's a male. No, it's not even hooked on his mouth. Alright. That's a nice peacock. Very nice peacock. Can I take a picture of it? Two and a half pounds. Look at that. All right, be on your way. Mike one fish there. Wait, so we didn't count those, right? So we're 33, 35 fish so far in the day. And we just hit 1230. And we got on the water, oh, uh, around what, eight o'clock? Yeah. We got here late, but 
it's been pretty good. Oh, and by the way, Michael lost his 99 cents lure that had been killing it on the last fish. We didn't count that one. So really we have a total of 36 fish. That's true. The only thing is that you decided to put them over the side of the boat, which you should not do. Oh, oh you shouldn't do that. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. He's uh, not even swimming right now. Got another fish on board here. Pretty good so far. This makes what? Thirty-seven. That's peacock. Got a peacock. Look at that. Another nice. peacock. Oh, shit, that was nice. Lost it. Is Michael caught another one? We're at forty-two right now. Today is Saturday, seven o'clock. We just started to get ourselves close to Holiday Park. We're gonna fish. Um, actually stopped here for a bathroom break. It's been a while, my son just came down. Um, we're gonna see how we do out here. And at the same time, we're gonna run this boat. It hasn't run for a while, so hopefully um, we should be good. All right, so we're at Holiday Park and um, got the water, the boat on the water, and uh, we'll see how we'll do. Um, actually, it looks like it's been raining here a lot. There's a lot of water here, so I'm hoping that doesn't affect the way fish are hitting. Anyway, stay tuned. All right, so we have actually been fishing since 7 this morning, and we have only totaled, and they're nothing to brag about, I think it's a total of 12 fish. Jose, it was and, actually, uh, we left the dock at 8 o'clock. Okay, 8 o'clock. So what's happening here is that there is a lot of water here in the Everglades right now, and the majority of the fish that we normally catch are all in the backside of the channel. We've had a lot of rain here, so there's a lot of water. Ideally, the best time to come here is when you could see the roots off of these trees and that water is low. That brings back all the fish into the canal. I mean, overall, I think we've done okay, but Captain, catch yeah, yeah. Uh, we're not getting the amount or size fish that we normally do here in Holiday Park. ago we were out in the Everglades and we, de we didn't do as well. We ended up with 13 fish. Back me out and then pull out because I'll be, I'll get out of the freaking car. I'll be in this much water before the boat floats. All right. And so now we're going to try to do some salt water. I got to help John here. Stay tuned. Now we're out at Pine Island. We're going to try to see if we can catch some, uh, some redfish. Looks pretty good so far. All right, so we have caught how many trouts? Quite a bit of trouts, right? Just getting uh, these little spoons. I had a ladyfish, we just gotta see if we can grab one here uh, using spoons. There we go. That's a ladyfish, missed it. Jose, the lose ladyfish loser. Man, really. Just wash my hands out of it. Nice little baby trout. There you go. I got fish on. Is that ladyfish? I hope. They usually jump. No, it's no. another trout. Another trout. That's that. That does not sound good. Lizard fish. You can use that for bait. Oh, ladyfish. Oh yes. Get her in. Oh. 
you with these? Or? I, yeah, I'll cook one. I'll cook one of those and throw that in. Uh... Ow, bastard! All right, let's get over the well. Keep trying here and see. Meet that ladyfish. Come on, ladyfish. Ooh, got a thump. Fish on. Another trout. Looks a little bigger. What do you think? Is it a keep? Yeah, this this one you can keep. That's a nice size. All right, hold them all with a hole there. Trout. Another trout. Nice little trout. He's a sizable one. You want to keep this guy? What do you think, Jose? I, mean, I don't know. There you go. Oh, he let go. All right, so John is on fish here. Uh, yeah, watch another other rod if you can. Fish know. on. That might be a red, John. Might be a red. It's a brute. It's a nice one. I mean, with 10 pounds, easy. Oh, no, he's going for that. He's Keep him out. Holy shit, he's a huge. Yep, yep. Is he a shark or a massive red? It looks like a red. He's monstrous. He's 40, he's 36 inches. Get him in, get him in, and no quick quit talking, man. Oh, it's a, it's a shark. It's a nurse shark. I'm sure it's a nurse. That's a big nurse shark. Oh yeah. Actually he's not that big. Oh <laughs> <laughs> nice John. All right. Awesome. He has no teeth. You can stick your hand in there. <laughs> Look at the size of that monster. Oh, you need help with that, Michael? Help him. Help him unhook him. Cut the line. Let him. Oh, he's a oh, boy. What longer? A longer. I think he's probably a swap fish if you want to take him. I'm gonna get the folder. Where's the folder? There you go. Jose. Getting about stickers and I'm here in a sandwich. <laughs> That's how it works here, man. And he ate the whole thing. That hook is gone. All right, he's a he's a keeper. I don't know if you want to eat red fish. We can we, listen, we, we can make dinner at the house and you're invited. All right, Michael's on. He's on fish. Probably a cat. Probably a cat. What do you got? Sure. What, you, what is that? It's kind of dark running around in circles. All right. So we got a big cat there. Oh, my goodness. This is like $12 in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't no catfish. No, this is not a catfish. Keep winding. Watch the angle in front of you. So a run like that, though, it might not be a river. Might be a shark. Probably. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you, your rod is squeaking left and right. We're almost on him. We're almost on him. Can you see him? I can't see him. All right, just just show me where the weed. There he is. People lose. Could you see? I, I. Could you see what it is? Not yet. Just follow him. Follow him. If you let this ray suck down to the bottom, though. That's, that was pinfish, by the way. It's not a friggin'. I no, think that, I, think, I think it's a stingray. What? Okay, we got to pull this other rod in. Go to the back of the boat. It's it. That's stingray. That's got to be stingray. Pull this in. It, Mike, don't fall out. Look at this. Ah. That's Stingray. Step up. Can you get over that? Red 
where is he now, Jose? He's going right, right in front. He's heading back to the island. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm messing around. That's a sing ray, John. It's it's just let's, let's see. Let's try to get let's try to get an image of it. The tug is the road. Come this way, Jose. I'm surprised he hasn't just like sank to the bottom and done it. He has. You think he's he's but he looks like he's still moving. What else is hanging over the side? Just be aware. I think you guys got everything in. I can't even see what it is. We're gonna see shortly. Yeah. If he goes underneath, just get that. Whatever it is, it's, it's heavy. A stingray. It has to be a stingray. I can't see it yet. Cut to the left. Did you see John? I, it what was it? I don't was know. A ray. I don't know. I just saw uh, like a white. <laughs> I don't want him to go into the mangroves. Oh, he tick. Oh, damn. broke. I think it was a ray. Yeah. Yeah, probably. All right, so we're done fishing for the day. It's been an extraordinary day. We've done really well considering. Um, we're now heading back. We're gonna have a nice dinner. We're gonna prep the uh, fish to put on either on the grill or on the stove with a little bit of white rice and some Spanish broiled beans. It's been fun. All right, so we're starting our dinner. A little white rice, some beans. We're gonna throw some uh, olives in the beans. Our next step is to get that fish filleted and ready to go. So here's our our trout. We're gonna fillet this. We're gonna get the other one in there. All right, there you go. Are you gonna try to skin that? Or? Fillet it. Scales on and everything. Flap it back, but. Well, yeah, and then flip it over and then take the skin off. Right. Well, here's our final product redfish, trout, beans, and rice. Oh, yeah.